Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you've used Windows 10, you'll probably know that Microsoft Edge is pretty rubbish and uh, it doesn't do a very good job. And uh, they claimed that when they built Windows 10 that Microsoft Edge was going to be the all new browser for everyone to start using, but sadly it never turned out to be. But what they've done is use Microsoft Edge with Chromium and basically you've now got a much more better usable uh, experience with Microsoft Edge. So it's open source software and Microsoft have grabbed hold of it and recoded it to suit their needs and as you can see here they have got different versions which you can download. You've got the beta version which is updated every six weeks, you've got the dev version which is updated weekly and then you've got the canary version which is updated daily. So we're going to be downloading the dev uh, version and uh, give this a go okay. Now this new version is a breath of fresh air for Windows 10 because the Windows Microsoft Edge was pretty rubbish and uh, this has definitely made things a lot better. Now you can put the tick inside here and uh, this will help improve uh, the product and you can send information back to Microsoft. If you don't want to you can remove the tick from there. Once you've done this just accept and install and uh, click the run down below there and this will then start to update and install the browser. Now again you can remove this and uninstall it if you wish. Uh, Microsoft Edge is part of Windows 10 so once this is all uh, finally worked out I think they will replace Microsoft Edge completely with this version because it seems to be a lot better than the original Microsoft Edge to be fair. Uh, it was really clunky, slow and uh, this is really zippy and fast and uh, the browsing is a lot better. The browsing experience for me is a lot better. Now I'm installing this onto a virtual machine where I record a lot of my tutorials. Uh, I will install this onto my main system and uh, when I did do that it was a lot better as well, a lot more faster. So you might see a little bit of lag on the um, virtual machine but other than that uh, it's a pretty decent bit of kit. So you can see here you can go through to the uh, screen display here and it's got some really good features here and uh, you, all you need to do here is play around with it and you'll get used to it so you, depending on what you want to look for here uh, what sort of view you want you just confirm this you can make changes to this afterwards okay and uh, it does give you a lot more customization uh, than the original Microsoft Edge which I like as well so you can just choose whatever you like here but this is all changeable a little bit later on and I'll show you uh, as well so just choose whatever you want here okay and then click done. There we go. Now you also get a nice little image here. You go up to here and you can change them right here. So once you uh, want to change stuff you can do by clicking on these here. And this will let you change uh, the view of what it looks like. And also the way it's laid out. So if you like a bit of uh, information there on the bottom bit of news feed going on as well as the browser top bit you can do that as well. You can also see here uh, you can change the image of the day that will change every day which I think is a nice little touch and uh, you can see here you've got a bit of news feed there if that's what you're into. Let's take a look at the settings here and we'll have a look and see what's changed inside here. So if you go inside the settings pane here and more tools you've got all your usual stuff here so I'm just going to click on this one here and open this up and you can create a profile here which is your Microsoft account. You can create that here and sign in here if you wish. And you've got a bunch of other stuff on here as well, like your appearance. If you want to change the theme and make it a dark theme, you can do whatever sort of floats your boat, really. You can change that. I prefer the darker theme. It's much nicer on the eyes. And again, uh, you can change all your fonts and stuff like that here. The privacy area here is very good indeed on the new browser. And uh, you can make a few changes here depending on what you want to do here. Just make some changes and have a good look around. But in general, it's a very snappy uh, piece of kit. And I think that's just due to the Chromium part and not the actual Microsoft uh, Edge part. It's just made it a lot more pleasurable to use compared to the old Microsoft Edge, which was really clunky and slow. Now, all of the add-ons and stuff like that are done through the Windows Store for the new Microsoft Edge browser and uh, basically if you come into here you've got your usual stuff inside here uh, but basically if you go into here 
there'll be a little link here you can click on this and this will take you to the Microsoft Store where you can get all your extensions and stuff like that and add-ons like you would do with Google Chrome and other types of uh, add-ons that you want to use and this would be the same thing for Chrome but it's just that it's going through the Microsoft Store that's all and uh, once you've done that you're pretty much good to go really if you want to install this um, once you open this up let me just quickly change this to the default browser here if you want to make this your default browser just set as default here and go into the settings pane here and this will open up and then just change it to the Microsoft Edge dev and then click on this one and then switch anyway there we go and we've now got that as our default browser and that should open up now without that little nag box at the top but if you are into uh, a different experience you can see how fast that is let me just open up uh, some web pages here so you can get a general idea of the snappiness of this particular browser now before if you was trying to surf the web and go to YouTube with the old Microsoft Edge it was really cumbersome and slow and you can see how fast and responsive this is a lot more responsive um, than the previous uh, browser which they had so I do think there has been a massive speed improvement and you can go into the flags and change all that inside there and I'll cover that in other videos if you want to see some of that let's just check YouTube out and see how quick this loads up and you can see it's pretty quick and this is in a virtual machine which is running on memory here so it's still pretty fast and um, I'm very impressed with the speed compared to the previous version of Microsoft Edge which was very clunky and uh, this is a lot lot better and uh, very impressed with it so if you haven't given this browser a go yet then uh, download it and install it it won't hurt and give it a try for yourself and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how good it actually is so it's actually gone from being pretty poor to pretty good now so give it a look and uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below they may be wondering how they've managed to pull this off well I'll quickly show you here so they're basically using the Chromium projects include the Chromium and Chromium OS this is open source projects behind the Google Chrome browser and uh, because it's open source basically uh, Microsoft have used that open source code and manipulated it and put it into their own browser open source means it's free for everyone to use and that's what they've done and basically molded it into their uh, Microsoft Edge browser now you're getting that nice experience there that you're seeing on this video anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up it's just a quick video to show you uh, where you can get it I'll leave the link in the video description for you if you're interested in downloading it and giving it a try for yourself my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I shall see you again for another video real soon have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.